The global burden of non-communicable diseases, NCDs, continues to increase. According to the World Health Organization Country Disease Outlook Report 2023, 45% of the total deaths in Uganda are due to NCDs. It is against this backdrop that the Ministry of Health, AstraZeneca, and Uganda Protestant Bureau launched an extension of the Healthy Heart Africa program aimed at tackling the burden of chronic kidney disease hypertension and cardiovascular diseases in the country. The Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, says the extension emphasizes AstraZeneca's dedication to tackling the escalating burden of non-communicable diseases and improving the health outcomes for people throughout Africa. So I have no doubt in my heart that the launch of Healthy Out Africa program is a great step forward in our fight against NCDs. And I take note that this new phase of the program will focus on integrated hypertension and chronic kidney disease services, and also ensure a comprehensive and sustainable approach to management of NCDs. Our efforts alone are not enough. We need support and collaboration of more partners, both local and international. And I say this because having a collaboration with AstraZeneca alone cannot cater for 45.9 million people. Deepak Arora, country president of African Cluster at AstraZeneca, noted that they remain committed to expanding the mission of Healthy Heart Africa to address this pressing health challenge. It's been a decade. Um, with more than 50 million people being screened and diagnosed with around 5.5 with higher blood pressures. That is what the NCD is rising in. And if you look at chronic kidney disease, especially when we talk about Uganda, one to seven percent is the prevalence, but when it comes to 15 percent, it increases to 15 percent for patients suffering from communicable diseases. So you can see in terms of it just doubles along with communicable diseases. Last but not the least, 70% of these patients, when are diagnosed, they were not aware of CKD. Till the time they reach to the nephrology, they are already into stage three and stage four. So you're adding to the healthcare burden, you're adding also to the environment because, remind you, every dialysis gets to around eight kilograms of carbon emission. Since its inception, the program has conducted almost 57 million blood pressure screening, trained more than 11,590 healthcare professionals across nine African nations. With 1,520 dedicated healthcare facilities, Healthy Heart Africa has identified over 11 million individuals with elevated blood pressure, making significant progress in addressing cardiovascular health in the region. Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.